do you go with a $400 custom orthotic or a $12 uh, flimsy gel one? The studies sometimes show that this one's better than this one. So luckily, I've seen thousands and thousands of patients. What works? What doesn't work? I've given out and tried hundreds of these different types of orthotics and I'm going to show you what type you should get for when so that you can save as much money as possible and solve your foot problem and we're starting right now. So number one, look at this foot. I can't even keep all these fragments together. You have plantar fascia, you have bottom of the foot, pain in the front. You have arch pain in the middle. You have Achilles tendonitis pain. Uh, you have side of the foot pain. Oh, look at this. This is all falling apart on me right here. Pain on the outside. I can't even keep it all together. Look at all these pieces just fell apart on me right here. But the bottom line is foot problems are different. The single unifying factor is flat foot pain. So when you stand on it, your foot flattens out. So I'm gonna talk about the best orthotics for standing all day and the best for flat foot pain because that's the most common cause of your pain. When you flatten out, a bunch of stuff happens. The side of your foot right here compresses and the middle of your foot stretches and the ligaments on the bottom of your foot stretch. So outside compresses, so check this out right here. See how that squeezes over to the side? The stuff on the inside here is stretching. All these ligaments down here at the bottom are stretching and the outside is compressing. So if you ever found yourself readjusting your foot, getting fatigue, sharp shooting, tingling pain when you get up in the morning and it's getting worse during the day. If your knees, the inside of your knees start hurting, the back of your hips, the sides of your hips, your lower back, this is all related to your feet flattening out, your knees buckling in, your hips twisting in, and your lower back hurting. Here's what happens for most of the patients that we see. They come in red hot and sore. If you get an expensive custom insert like this, you are going to hate your podiatrist. You're gonna hate me. And I hate patients hating me because number one, uh, this is real pain right here. And we take this stuff very seriously. Before you even start wearing an orthotic, you gotta cool down your pain. You gotta get some rest. You gotta take some anti-inflammatories you have to ice. That being said, I'm not a huge fan of anti-inflammatories, but some people do get better on them. But the point is, if you weigh 400 pounds and you're working 16 hour days, on your feet on hard concrete at a factory, an orthotic, no matter what it is, is not gonna solve all your problems. There's four things you have to look at first is, is your activity level unreasonable? So for example, if you've never run a marathon, you can't just put on orthotics and run a marathon day one. So activity level is number one. Number two is how much do you weigh? So obviously a hundred pound little kid doesn't have to wear inserts and they'll usually feel okay. Whereas a 400 pound person has to wear super aggressive orthotics, uh, super aggressive braces, the best shoes possible to get half the results that the hundred pound flexible kid with no other arthritis will. Number three is how physically fit are you? If you have heart problems, if your muscles are weak, if you've never gone to the gym, if you've never jogged, you're not gonna be able to start doing unlimited physical activity no matter what type of inserts you're wearing. So those are the three points. If you are realistic with those three things, so number one, your activity level, number two, your weight, and number three, how is your muscle flexibility, strength, and cardiovascular activity, then you can start looking at your orthotics and your shoes. Here's what studies do show about orthotics are certain conditions, certain specific conditions really need great orthotics. So we see, for example, people with cerebral palsy, people with broken legs, people with deformities, people with Morton's neuroma, people with bunions, people with arthritis through their big toe joint, they need different orthotics than a little kid with flat foot. It's the person that is on their feet too much and they're not in as great a shape as they could be. This is the most common type of person we see. So it's usually the, the nurse, the teacher, the factory worker, someone who's getting older, they're getting stiffer, their muscles aren't as strong, and their work demands are stronger and stronger. If this is you, studies do show, once you can cool down your inflammation, the cheaper over-the-counter inserts like this are better value for you. So the $20, $30 insert, because look at this, 
They're softer, they're more flexible. You don't have to break them in. If you can get a great supportive shoe, so we're talking about shoe shopping right now. If you can get a shoe with a stiff heel, if you can get a shoe with a stiff bottom and a flexible front, you can get yourself, see, I already took the insert out, but you can see how right there, I took the insert out already. You can buy, this is a $15 insert, put it in here and put your foot in here and you're gonna do pretty good. You're gonna get like 25 to 50% of the pressure off your ankle and realistically standing for eight hours will feel more like maybe five or six hours. Once you get used to that for a couple weeks, so this is a nice flimsy one. You can work your way up to, look at this, a little bit more of an arch on, this one has a little bit more of an arch. This one's pretty flexible. This one's a little bit more firm and has more of an arch. Then if you're, if you're still having some pain, maybe working your way up to this one that's now stronger. So we'll put this one in the shoe. If we put that one in the shoe, then for the next couple weeks, maybe now eight hours will feel more like four or five hours rather than with this one, more like five or six hours. So once you start getting used to that, it might be worth, it might be worth trying the custom insert. If your insurance covers it, or if you find like you have enough money where you want to test it out, putting this one in here, once you break the other ones in and putting your foot in, what happens is your foot, rather than eight hours, it might feel more like three or four hours. And in a lot of conditions, the studies really do show orthotics can be made for specific conditions, but I could talk about that for 12 hours if I had to. But for generalized overworked feet, start with the soft. What I always have patients do is start with the cheaper, more flexible ones. So you could go through Dr. Scholl's or the more introductory, softer, flimsier ones. Then if you're, if you're still having pain, work up to the more slightly more expensive, slightly stronger ones. And if you're still having pain and you feel like you get more, that's when the custom ones make sense. You're not spending a lot and you're working your way up. Shoes, shoes give you like 50% relief and orthotics give you like 50% relief. So the way you're an A plus student in terms of foot pain is a great supportive shoe. And realistically, the prices can ramp up past $200, you know? So shoes can get expensive, just like orthotics can get expensive. But for me personally, and for most of my patients, I would say with the more introductory inserts like these, patients gradually work their way up to higher price points that they can afford with greater relief. It's kind of like getting from point A to point B. You don't wanna make your first car a Ferrari that's stick shift that you don't know how to drive. And that's the problem some people make with a custom insert. You don't want your first car to be a stick shift Ferrari that you don't know how to drive and you hate it and it's expensive and it bankrupts you. What you want is you want to get a cheap used car as a 16 or 18 year old, learn how to drive it and work your way up. The custom inserts, if you wear them right off the bat, you will hate them. But as you get used to them, I can tell you for me, I hated this one at the beginning, but now I love it. It's for me, this is a waste of time for me, but I love the custom insert with a great shoe. But when I tried to wear this at the beginning, I hated it. And that's why you sometimes see these videos on YouTube saying custom inserts are just as good as these. But I can tell you, seeing this thousands and thousands of time, I pretty much guarantee my patients, if they don't like them, they want their money back. I have never refused a patient. And I, I'm gonna prove this right now. I'm saying this to my own patients. If you don't like your custom insert, and it's not working for you, I will give you your money back. That's how confident I feel. And insurance doesn't reimburse us for this giving, giving us back. But here's what the studies show. Number one, monitor your activity level. If you can sit down, sit down. If you can lose weight, lose weight. If you can get flexible, get flexible. If you can start working out, start working out. That's common sense. And if you can stop smoking, stop smoking. If you get rid of your diabetes, all that kind of stuff as much as you can. If you get as healthy as possible, you won't even need shoes or orthotics, you'll feel good. But what happens is, here's my algorithm. Go with the cheaper orthotic. Upgrade to the medium, stronger orthotic. Upgrade to the custom orthotic. Get yourself a lace-up ankle brace. Ankle braces are great. The whole time, you could be getting better and better shoes as well. So the more firm, the more supportive the shoe, 
the better you're gonna feel. And we're given lots of links here for great shoes, great orthotics, and that's how you get your feet feeling better. So there's a lot of absolute garbage out there. And there's even some studies out there that say orthotics don't work, but I'm telling you, out of thousands of people, and even my personal guarantee, I feel so strongly that orthotics work in right situations, just that sometimes people get them in wrong situations and they make a big stink about it. So tell me what you think in the comments. Did you hate a pair of orthotics in the past? Let us know. And at the same time, you gotta think about the conditions at the same time. 